Welcome back! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, my name is Rodna. I'm your purpose and personal development coach. And on this channel, we talk about all things purpose, faith, and personal development. Forgiveness, 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 forgiveness. We're talking about forgiveness and in particular, forgiving yourself. Now, this is probably the hardest type of forgiveness. I think it's easy to forgive others, but forgiving yourself is a completely different ball game. So what do you do when God has forgiven you, but you haven't forgiven yourself? So maybe you did something, you said something, you hurt somebody, you hurt yourself, um, and it was a terrible situation, and you've carried that guilt, and you've carried that shame, and you've carried the weight of that action or those actions that you did. It could be addiction, it could be drugs it could be the lust you maybe you cheated maybe uh, you committed an abortion like there could be so many things you know you better than i know you um so you know whatever that thing is for you that you've been holding on to that you've been carrying and it's been here and it's been here and it's been everywhere and you've been carrying that on your shoulders the weight of that on your shoulders the weight of that pain in your heart and for some reason you can't forgive yourself you've gone to god and you've asked for forgiveness and you know that god has forgiven you but yet you carry the pain you carry the shame you carry the guilt over those actions the first thing is has god forgiven you so if you go to god and you say god forgive me automatically god forgives you there's a verse in um second chronicles 7 verse 14 which says if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked way ways then i will hear from heaven and i will forgive their sins and i will heal their land so if we humble ourselves and we pray and we go to god and we say god i've sinned god i've done this god i am sorry god forgive me it says if you do that then god will hear from heaven and not only will he forgive you from your sins he will heal your land he will heal that situation he will heal that relationship he will heal he will heal your heart he will heal that womb he will heal you so the first thing is has god forgiven you god forgives he is a gracious loving merciful god every time i know i, I do so I've, I've sinned i've fallen short and i go to god and i ask for forgiveness immediately the moment you say amen it is done it is finished he doesn't keep a record of your wrongs he doesn't hold it against you he will never say but Rodna, you did this three years ago he will never ever ever do that because he's a good god the moment you ask for forgiveness he wipes that away and it's like as if it never happened so you will never for one second hear god saying yeah but last time you've you've already asked for forgiveness you've why are you doing that again and why are you asking for forgiveness a second time god doesn't work that way the moment you ask for forgiveness it is done it is forgiven he remembers it no more he doesn't remember your sins it says in isaiah 43 verse 25 i only i am he who wipes away your transgressions for my own sake and i will not remember your sins so he doesn't hold it over your head he doesn't dangle it over your head every time you're you're bad it, that's not how god works however the devil the enemy the adversary likes to keep you in bondage he likes to keep you in shame keep you in guilt every time you go to pray he will start whispering you were out sinning last night remember the abortion that you did remember that you are a sinner and he will constantly try and bring these things back to you god never does that but the enemy will try and keep you not praying not reading your bible because you feel worthless he will try and strip you down um and make you feel like you're nothing he will tell you that you're worthless he will tell you that you're useless he will tell you that you can't even do you can't do anything right he will try and break you down to the point where you start believing that that that's you and those are your thoughts those are not your thoughts though that's the enemy that's the devil who tries to keep you stuck his 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 purpose on earth is to kill steal and destroy to kill steal and destroy so don't ever think that any the devil's your friend. He is not your friend. He is he wants to kill, steal, and destroy. So what do you do now when you've asked for forgiveness? God has forgiven you, but you still have those memories, you still have those thoughts, and you still carry that burden every single day. It is time to let go. 
it is time to let go that happened years ago even if it happened yesterday even if it happened last week you can't go before god holding all of this weight holding all of these things keeping that weight on your shoulders why because god has forgiven you he looks at like at you like you're like an innocent child like a baby and yet you're condemning yourself condemnation does not come from god you're condemning yourself you're judging yourself you're looking down on yourself and that affects your relationship with god because now he sees you one way and you see yourself another way it is time to let go it is time to surrender it is time to surrender that you've held you've beat yourself up you've punished yourself you've thought about it you've said about it those internal things when you're up at night and it's the stuff that nobody sees when you're up at night by yourself and you're thinking when you're having a shower and you're thinking you need to forgive yourself the moment you forgive yourself you allow for healing to enter your heart because when you're walking around in unforgiveness for yourself you haven't healed you can't heal the moment you release that and say god you've forgiven me i confess my sins and i ask that you forgive me and you forgive yourself from for those actions for what happened that day that night that evening that morning and you forgive yourself healing starts healing starts and you become whole again and you let that go you let that weight go there is absolutely no you can't go back there you can't go back to your past you can't go backwards you cannot rewrite that story that is gone that is dead and gone but you can do you can focus on your now and you can focus on your future but you can't focus on your future if you're constantly looking back if you're lo constantly looking through the rear view mirror if you're constantly pondering on what happened and holding those memories you can't look forward you can't you can't focus on what's ahead you can't accept what god has for you ahead because where you are back you are looking back it is time to let go it is time to let go it is time to forgive yourself you need to forgive yourself and how do you do that you pray you go to god and have an honest and an honest and raw conversation god i know you've forgiven me i know that you've um i've asked i've repented and i've come before you and i know that when you say that but i know that you forgive me but i'm struggling to forgive myself help me to forgive and talk to god have an honest and open conversation be as raw as you need to because god sees your heart he knows your heart he knows that you're walking around in unforgiveness for yourself and say help me to forgive myself i cast this situation to you god says come to me all who labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest the moment you surrender that to god just say god i surrender god i surrender this situation i surrender this hurt i surrender this shame i surrender this guilt i surrender this pain and i leave it at your feet and god will take that and he will give you peace and he will give you joy and he'll give you love and he will give you this sense of overwhelming it's a peace that you can't even explain so but you need you need to take that step you need to go before god and surrender and surrender that shame surrender that guilt because you can't keep holding on to that you can't keep holding on to that it is time to let that go it is time to say i and tell yourself i forgive you right now i forgive you i forgive you for this this and this i forgive you for abc say that out loud and release that so that you can start you are a new the moment you become a child of god the moment you forgive you are a new creature the old has passed away and all things have become new but you need to let go you need to forgive yourself if this has been of benefit for you please share like and subscribe and be sure to share this with your bestie and forgive yourself and always remember that you are fearfully and wonderfully made god has got huge plans for you god has huge plans for you he has a big purpose for you he's got big destiny for you and in order for you to walk towards that you need to let go of the baggage of unforgiveness be blessed